I'm gonna just bust right up in the middle of it. Oh, it's too late now. Show us how to do it. He's got the magic jig on too, y'all. He's cheating. He only brought one. Gosh, that didn't take long. Ow. Dang, Brad. Oh, that's a sick. Why is he eating so late? I reckon I need to get my jig in that spot. Holy moly. Got him, that's what I'm talking about. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Brad Gibson with G3 Outfitters is standing to my right and we are in the middle of Lake Okeechobee catching crappie now these are black crappie this is actually a male he is a real black color the females are real 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 white and of course the males are black we got duck hunters over our shoulder and we are filling the cooler full of these crappie with our ACC crappie sticks and that beautiful jig right there now there is an airboat running in there duck hunting so you got to bear with the noise but we're about to show you all how to catch these crappie out of these thick nasty trees as you can already tell, Brad has given me a, a whooping, but him and I aren't fishing against each other. We're fishing against Team Kentucky, who's right down there about a half mile, Richard, Cecil, and some of his buddies. And when we get down here, we're going back to their house to cook up an awesome crappie dinner. No pun intended, it's gonna be good, not crappie, but you get what I mean. We're using 20 pound Beyond Braid and these ACC crappie sticks four to six ounce action medium heavy that airboat will be gone in a minute why are you taking up the whole bow we're on my pro drive at 1856 and we're doing work what the heck that jumper was in the big nasty right there let me see he's probably only 10 and a quarter 10 and a half let him grow up When you're fishing like this, we'll really pick apart this entire clump. really know if there's hundreds or just dozens of fish but once you stop getting bites if you have power poles pick them up and move in there about 20 feet but I don't advise doing this with a normal motor you better have a mud motor like a surface drive like what we have so you don't tear it up out of the jungle the reason we use braided line is because when they do hit it you got to rip it out of these trees like that so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward about eight feet when I'm fishing if you wonder what's holding the camera it's this bar right here every now and then it will rock but luckily the GoPro deals with it pretty well let's pull up Brad That's what you call opening up a hole. These crappie will be all up in here. And if you watch, Brad will catch one in a second. Let me give you an over the shoulder look. That just shows how strong those rods are. 
Turn around, let me see that fish. That's a male. It's a big old rooster. Dang. Most people would that. drive by and wonder, look at that jig. Down the pipe. What we're doing in here. But when you have the right gear, you can get to where the fish are at. I'm gonna put the GoPro right back up here and we're gonna start catching them. All right, I'm going in. Some big ones too for the trees. Yeah. Rip him out of there. I don't even know if y'all can see that very well. Now we're only fishing in about four foot of water, but these trees have a really big root system underneath them. So we're only fishing about a foot deep and have the drags locked on a reel. In Okeechobee, they got to be 10 inches with their mouth closed. That one's short. Yeah, that probably only one or two shorts for the entire day. We've been catching mostly yeah. keepers, but we've been throwing a bunch back. Yeah, boy. How are you going to catch them all up out of there where I was just at? You got the wrong color. Oh, that one's too little. The keeper, though. These trees we're in are called willow trees, and you might think we're hurting the ecosystem by driving in them. We actually help it, and it makes it a lot thicker, so next year the fish will even have more cover until the FWC sprays it, and then you got to start over. Right here now? Yeah. Have live birds? Have live birds. I didn't know that. Hey, hey, gay, whoa, gay. This one, I need a bigger rod to catch them this big. That's a pro mag. That's a pro mag. Do y'all have them this big in Kentucky? Oh, those are bait. I called her mama a while ago. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Another short fish. Short fish? You want to bet a hundred dollars? We figured y'all the only way you're gonna get your limit is if we pull over here and help y'all. We appreciate it. We ain't proud, been there, Sam. Mm -hmm. Don't give a fuck if he is short. He ain't short. I mean it, it's double, a just like double trouble. Hey, this ain't right, Carlos. Uh, they do that shit because they do. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Team Florida in the house. Team Florida in the house. Okay, how about this? Well, this tomorrow, me, Gabe, and Allen against nine or ten of y'all from Kentucky. How about that? Hey, Richard. What? This is what you're after, in case you're wondering. I got it. You guys, as you can see already from watching this, we're fishing in some bad stuff. And you'll watch when we pull the line up like this, we're sucking the, let me show you, hold on. See the jig dangling? We're sucking it up to the rod tip and sticking in there. In there. And if we don't get a bite while we're jigging like that, we pull it back up and pull it out. So you got to have it all the way at your rod tip, putting it in and pulling it out. Or you'll just lose way too many jigs. Oh, I see one spot I need to try to get to. You even got to move your rod way behind you to be able to get it pointed in the right direction in here. It's funny too because the most places around the Oh I got him. Come on. I got him out of there. Come on. Hey, what a big male. In most places around the country, 
Crappie fishing is all about being quiet, not on Lake Okeechobee. Not where we're at. You can make as much noise as you want. Big boy right there. All right, I'm gonna show y'all real quick just how versatile this motor is. Its lower unit actually turns all the way around so it has full power reverse. All right, so you see how I have the motor tilted up? Watch this. Now. Kick it in there, tilt it back up. It looks like Richards done drove his big boat in there. You would think as much noise as we just made, we scared every fish in the lake off, but you know we didn't. Where can they find these ACC crappie sticks? Are they online? Online and at Fast Break Bait and Tackle in Okeechobee. What's it called? Fast Break Bait and Tackle, Okeechobee, Florida as well as online. There he is. <laughs> Didn't take long. Ripping him out of there, ripping him out. Y'all, it doesn't get any better than this. This style of fishing to me, like Brad does this for work. If you want to come out here, I'll put his business in the link in the description below, G3 Outfitters. He'll bring you on a charter out here. And I hi highly recommend coming with him and not doing it on your own because you can break your boat really bad out here. At least come with him a few times before you try to do it on your own. It's very affordable. He brings the rods, the tackle. You don't have to do anything but buy your fishing license. Or you don't, do you have to have a fishing license? Yeah. Yeah, saltwater you don't have to on a charter, but freshwater you do. G3 Outfitters. I'll put it in the link below. Oh yeah. Right in the sunlight. One-handed. Look at it. Brad done leaving his fish on the deck. Look at that though. Oh, Richard Harrison, Georgia, eat your heart out. All right, so we moved spots and we came across Richard and Cecil. I'm gonna show you what they'll do in a normal outboard boat. Watch out, Cecil. Hold your rod tip up, Brad. Y'all, look at that. That's a Mercury outboard. What is it? A 300? Brad? Yeah. 300? Come over here and look. Cecil, are you hot? Wait me, huh? You're going to have to go for it, Richard. Give her a gallon. You got to trim it up a little bit. Go up, Rich. You go up with it. I wish I had the drone. Right there. Almost. More gas. Tilt it up more. Right there, you got it now. Now floor it. Almost. One more time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at Cecil. Cecil, what is he doing? You, you almost got it, Richard. One more good plug and you got it. I just seen a three pound crappie fly through the bushes. All right, Brad, we gotta go get a different angle. Doc, Doc, are you online? Doc, go, are you online?
boat hung up that bad model. I think this was sponsored by ACC. <laughs> oh, we're free now. Good fishing right here. All this. Yeah, I mean, you guys, that mo oh, we are in a dangerous place now. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Y'all, good thing we are all trained professionals. Toronto, he's spinning that boat around. We're in trouble. That be your four stroke. Hey, at least he pulled right over to a good fishing spot. Holy cow. Oh my god. Go. Oh. <laughs> Back forward! Y'all, we just took a hundred gallons of water in the boat, thanks to Mr. Richard right over there. Yeah. Hey, if you wake up and you got the runs in the morning, it wasn't me. No charge. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, that's Mr. Cecil. We got Mr. Ray. Hey, Y'all tried to do it to us first. No. Whatever. Brad, Brad, you got hair running, or water running down your hair. And you didn't even get the brunt of it. Could y'all see us during oh, that? Oh, we got on a deck. When that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It was hilarious. I feel you. I, I got the video for it. I got two minutes of video of it. <laughs> it was very disrespectful. I do apologize. Yeah. I hope you're going back to. Hey, Look at the big crappie coming over. <laughs> I hope you're. Hey, hey wait a minute. You're you better hope you're going back to Kentucky tonight. Hey, he's getting some Visine and that whiskey tonight. Oh, yes. You guys see them power poles? Watch this. This is why we have them. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Brad, it looked like a, a tidal wave came over the back of the boat. I, saw, I knew it was coming. I, just, I mean, I didn't hear Hey, you got another fish in the boat, Brad. <laughs> see it. Take care, Alan. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm trying to fish. I can get Hold it. On, on, Look, Richard done caught one. You know they're biting when Richard catches one. Golly. Hey, he's lucky I don't have that Suzuki right now. I'd back oh, up and make this. Richard, that was a, my cell phone. My twelve hundred dollar iPhone was a foot underwater. Yeah, it's a good thing it's waterproof. It's Kentucky, good old Kentucky hospitality. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're soaking wet. Now we're cold. This is all fun and games. Nobody was close to getting hurt, so don't take it too serious. We will see y'all back at Mr. Richard's house. I'm gonna cook a tuna poke bowl, tostada, and some fried crappie, and I need to put a shirt on.
All right, y'all, before I go any further with this video, the first thing I wanna do right now is tell any of you kids watching this video, never try what you just witnessed. Now, for the rest of the video, typically I go home and I clean and cook whatever we catch. This video, I'm doing something different. Richard and Cecil and all those guys that were with us that day are some of our truest friends, and they live in Kentucky. And last year, they had us up there shooting giant carp on Mr. Richard's boat in a private lake that he owns, and I wanna show y'all some of that footage. And when you get done with this video, you can search back for my giant carp catch, clean, and cook video that I filmed with him and see even more footage. But right now, I wanna show you some of the footage that you didn't get to see in that video that I just told you about. So let's take it back to Kentucky. We're on Mr. Richard's boat and we're shooting carp and having some of the most fun we've ever had. Your crew ain't never seen no redneck fun like this. And when we break the shotgun out and the whiskey, they really ain't seen nothing. <laughs> we ain't going on, I ain't. Okay, we ready for live action. Let's go. Well, log and load, boys, let's roll with it. We about lost Timmy, off the bat. Hang on, catfish. I I need Larry, I don't need Timmy now. Right. Come on, Larry. Need to build Crow Larry's feet to the boat. Ready. There he was. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. See that giant right there. Oh. Oh, look at that one back there. Tell me that didn't look fun. But right now, this video's gotta end. Kelly and I are gearing our boats up to make the long track to Venice, Louisiana, where we're gonna spend seven days with the Fish Intimidator Lodge. Captain Ron Price doing some of the most fun things you'll ever imagine. Shrimping and crabbing and shooting nutrient rats and rabbit hunting. I'm gonna do my first rabbit video. Rabbit hunting, we're gonna catch tuna, we're gonna catch all kinds of great things. Right now, though, I got to end it. I got to get inside and edit, pack the boats, and get ready for the track. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. Like Jake always says, though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.